What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the standard template library support for the stack data structure. So the stack data structure is basically an abstract data structure which is used in the C++ uh, programming language but we are going to be creating something which is a container adapter, the STL version of the stack abstract data type uh, which we'll be covering in future videos but we're going to be talking about the STL version which is basically a container adapter that is constraining the use of those big abstract data types. So you'll know what I mean by just after that watching the video. So basically hash include the input output stream, header file, we're including our namespace standard as usual. And then we have an integer main over here and then we have the return zero at the end. So there you go at the end, return zero. Now, the only thing I'm gonna be doing here is basically including the stack over here. So hash include S-T-A-C-K. Now this is included. Now what I'm gonna do inside of my main function is basically gonna create a stack. So I'm gonna say ST stack, and then I'm gonna tell my data type. So if I want an int, I just put an insight. If you want any other data type, you could put that. And we'll just call it my stack. So this is my stack, huh? So now we could add stuff into the my stack using some member functions that are predefined inside. So we have one member function which is called push. And now we could put stuff inside. Now suppose that when we're pushing up uh, my stack push 10, this means that 10 is gonna be stored at the bottom. So we know that stack is basically um, a LIFO, which is last in, first out. Now this is how it works. So basically it's stacked on top of each other like a pile of like a pile of disks or a pile of pages. Now what you could do is basically last in, first out methodology we apply. So we take out the last one. So we like, if we wanna insert something, we put it as the last bot in, and then we want to think out, so we say, last in first out and you could just look at the top right and you can't access anything underneath it so that's basically the stack so my stack over here and let's just put another one over here so let's stay my stack dot push and we're going to put 20 inside and then we're going to say my stack so my stack and we're saying dot push and we're going to put 30 inside so now we have what we have here is basically 10, 20, and 30. Now so now it's gonna be like, um, so it's gonna be over here, like if I explain, 30 is gonna be on the top because it's the most recent one. And then after that, it's gonna be 20, which is right here. And then after that, from 20, we have another one which is right after that. So right here, which is gonna be 10. So this is gonna be, so it's gonna be like this, 30, 20, and 10. That's how it's gonna be stored. So let me just delete that. And let's get forward. Okay, so now what we could do is basically see the elements in the stack. So we could say the elements, or that we could say this, the number of elements, the number of elements in the stack. And we could use basically a function method, which is called my stack, and we could just call it, which is called the size. So we could just say size, and it's just gonna tell us what are inside of it, all right? So now we could just basically have a while loop and we could say my stack and we say the is empty method. So we say my stack dot empty and this tells if the stack is empty or not. So if we say not empty, so this means that if it's not empty, so it's basically like a Boolean. And um, what we could do over here is basically have, we could say um, popping now popping is how you delete stuff. Pushing is the thing like when you're adding stuff. So popping is primarily deleting stuff from the stack. So popping, and we could say popping which element? Pop, so we say my stack. And we could just pop it right now. We just show what we're popping. So we're, we're primarily popping the re most recent one, which one's on the top, which is 30. So we could say my stack, so my stack, and we say dot pop, and this is just gonna pop the most recent one. But I wanna show you what it is, so I could just use my stack.top. Now this is gonna show me that the most recent one, which is 30, is gonna be popped. And then right now it's not gonna do anything, it's just gonna show me what's on the top. And when I really actually wanna pop it, I could just say my stack dot, and we say just pop over here. So once we say this, it's just gonna be automatically deleted, it's gonna go out of the loop. And let's just put another console output right after this. So let me just copy this. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste it right after this while loop. Because this job of the while loop is basically to empty out the stack. Once it's emptied out, you could already automatically guess that this is gonna be zero in size. So 
I'm gonna go type G++, we're gonna call stacks, so stacks, and yeah, let's just run this, and here you go, let's run it. So you can see over here that we have the number of elements in the stack was three, because there were three elements, popping the 30th one, popping the 20th one, popping the 10th one, and the number of elements in the stack now are zero. So this was basically a small overview of the STL structure of stack, this could get handy when we are using in certain places or certain projects, we could use this stack abstract data type. So I hope you liked this video and I hope you understood the concept of S stack STL. Stick around, see you around, see you in the next one. Peace out.